Now, I already gave you a look at what different features are in CyanogenMod, so this quick video is going to show you, the proud owners of Oppo N1s, how to install CyanogenMod over the color OS that you have on the original version. So that's exactly what we're going to do now, because it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here we go, installing Cyanogen 10.2 on the Oppo N1. <laughs> Now, before I even get into the procedure of installing Cyanogen Mod on your Oppo N1, which is incredibly easy, I do think it goes without saying that you should uh, back up all of your data on your N1 before you even do anything on here. Connect it via your USB and go ahead and just extract and copy all of your files from the N1 to a folder onto your computer. So you can back up your pictures, your media files, anything that you need that is important on there. The reason being is because when you put a ROM onto your Obo N1, it completely wipes the user data. So make sure you do that first. After that, you can head over to Oppo's main website or even CyanogenMod's main website, CyanogenMod.org. At Oppo, it's just a simple matter of getting to the N1 firmware page and you will find the same file there as well. After that, connect your N1 via a USB to your computer again and copy over that zip file to the root of your actual phone of the actual N1 itself so that it sits squarely in the first place that you go to when you first get into your phone using the file system in your Mac or your Windows PC. Just rest assured that your Oppo device, especially the N1, already comes with all the tools needed in order to install a custom ROM, in this case, CyanogenMod. So basically what you're going to do is just power on your phone while holding the volume down button uh, as it is booting up. And as long as you keep that button hold down, it should go into a screen that asks you what language you want to see your recovery in. And obviously in this case, we're just going to say English and you'll see all of the different features that are available in the recovery. If anybody of you out there have uh, flashed third-party ROMs onto your phones. This should all come as very, very familiar territory. But in our case, we're just gonna go ahead and install straight from the SD. And as you can see at the root of the actual file system on the Oppo N1, we already have just one file outside of all of the different folders that are inside of the root, and that's just the CM ROM itself. So if I were to select that, it's going to say here, installation package. This operation cannot be restored. We're always going to say yes to this. Remember, back up your files before before you do anything here because this will completely wipe the phone. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes and it will go ahead and update on its own. All right, and then the installation is successful. Uh, basically here we can hit yes to go back to the recovery, but there's nothing for us to do there. So we're just gonna go ahead and reboot and we should see CyanogenMod load up right away. And there you go, the awesome loading screen of CyanogenMod, that blue Android mascot right there, giving you the look of, you're about to get some awesomeness here. And really, ladies and gentlemen, it is literally just as simple as that. Um, like I said, I had a version of CyanogenMod already installed on there, so it just kind of updated my settings. Uh, probably didn't delete any of the user data, actually, because I already had a version on there, and that's kind of what happens when you just update the OS rather than putting a whole new one on there. However, as you can see here, that is just the easy way of installing CyanogenMod on your Oppo N1. It, could, it, is, it is about as easy as you'll ever have a procedure like that, because Oppo already puts its own recovery into the phone. But of course, if you want to go back to the original Color OS, you can always go back to Oppo's website and find the original firmware there, the original file, and put that onto the root of your file system on the Oppo N1. And after that, the procedure is literally the same. That's one of the reasons why we really love Oppo in terms of their hardware, which already looks really nice, but underneath it already has all the tools you need for full customization of your Android experience. After that, CyanogenMod really is the uh, operating system or the ROM, the third-party ROM to put on here because they do take advantage of all that the N1 has to offer. If you haven't seen my original video, sh video showing you the features of CyanogenMod that take advantage of the N1, you should really check it out. Features like the O-Touch on the back right here, the rotating camera, and the O-Click, the little accessory that comes with it, are all taken advantage of in CyanogenMod, which means they have a really great and very powerful relationship made for phones of this caliber. So that is how to install CyanogenMod on your Oppo N1. If you have any questions, make sure you let us know in the comments below and if you are a proud owner of your n1 go ahead and try it out because as long as you make sure to back up your data you can always go back and forth between the operating systems as you wish again that's just another reason why we love oppo and we love this 
Oppo N1. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, everything from tutorials like this to reviews, comparisons, and our event show coverage. Don't forget to check out my brothers in Android, Joe, Jace, and Kevin the Tech Ninja for all of their great content as well, because we are Android Authority, your source for all things Android.